think it was uh, over two years ago, two French producers um, met with me in Paris and they told me about this extraordinary man named Laurent Combalbert, who is one of the best private kidnap and hostage negotiators in the world. I, I didn't know there was such a thing. And it turns out there are tens of thousands of these that go on all over the planet every year. Uh, and they are typically resolved within 48 hours. They're life and death situations. Uh, but what really impressed me about it was that he solves these problems with his mind. He doesn't carry a gun. And that the way you solve these problems, the way you save people's lives, is by understanding your adversary better than he understands himself. So typically they'll ask for things you cannot give them. You know, Five million dollars, the release of ten terrorists or something. That's not going to happen. And I'd always wondered, well, how do they, how do they reach these people? And so this show sort of captures that through the character that Luke plays, Eric Beaumont. And you learn a little bit about how you manipulate is the word I would use. Laurent doesn't use that word. Influence is the word he likes. But um, how you manipulate people, how you get them to trust you, and how you realize you can't give them what they want, but you can give them what they need. It's a fascinating notion that you sort of, um, or, or, or rather idea of how you can sort of um, change, alter, maybe lower the expectations of, of your adversary and, um, and, and get them to um, ask for something they had no idea that they needed. Um, so yeah, absolutely, the, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fascinating, and Laurent is a fascinating man and the character um, is inspired by him um, for sure. So it's, uh, I mean, a, an amazing sort of creation creature, I think. Um, but yeah, the, these these scenarios are, are fascinating and they're so informative. And uh, you know, as as Frank says, there's a, a little bit of an education within the show about how these deals are done. Um, and it, it's it, you know, these are transferable skills. So you know, the, the, we we're all to some extent in our own lives, and and this sort of gives you an insight into what it is that we're doing, and or, or what it is we maybe should do um, uh, to to um, you know further our persuasive powers. I suppose, but um, yeah, he's a uh, the character of Eric is um, was very attractive to me as an actor because he's so um, so high functioning and um, thinks on so many levels simultaneously. Uh, this I, I am not really capable of, but um, but the character is. So it was uh, yeah an, an amazing draw and a great um, basis for a, for a TV show, a sort of the scope of it is kind of incredible because the scenarios are not necessarily, um, you know, your typical sort of hostage um, uh, terrorist situation, but uh, there's, there's, there's so much more to it than that. In each, um, in each week or each episode, we sort of explore um, a, another variation on, on that. Um, but no, the character's fascinating and, and the world that they inhabit is fascinating and the techniques that they employ are fascinating. And um, whilst I know that the uh, Laurent and, and our other um, sort of um, uh, source materials, they protect themselves by not revealing everything because this would be potentially very dangerous, but um, they give us just enough of an insight um, to, to intrigue, certainly. And um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's fascinating material. We try to use as much of it as we can. Um, and actually, the hardest part about developing the show is figuring out how do you make it a TV series because you, you can't just have Eric on the phone talking to somebody as a negotiation every week. That wouldn't make a drama. So the format of the show is that there's a crisis every week. Uh, a, a demand is made, which requires a negotiation, and Eric and his team are called in. But then in order to conclude the negotiation, there's a mystery they have to solve. And that's what makes it an episodic TV drama. So in the course of solving that mystery, in the course of that negotiation, we use as many of the real-life strategies and tactics that uh, Laurent and his partner Marwan have defined really clearly. They have a huge body of work, and we've seen it all. For me, the more of their real tactics and strategies we employ, the more satisfying the, the story is. I spoke to the, the real McCoy. Um, I certainly uh, had a very long um, telephone interview conversation with, with Laurent before we started shooting. Um, and I, I read every book that I could get my hands on um, to uh, sort of expand my knowledge of, of, of negotiations. Um, uh, I suppose primarily focusing on, on North American um, 
uh, negotiators, but obviously we have Laurent as a, as a source material as well. So yeah, just I, I read. I, I mean, I, I, I came off another show, so I had sort of, I think, four and a half weeks. Um, and I'm a slow reader, but I, I read into the night to get as much into my mind as I possibly could. But um, it's an ongoing process and you're learning. I'm learning from the, the scripts themselves. And then, of course, you we, you know, um, fortunately, we have Laurent as a sort of a consultant, I, I suppose, on the show. And so I'm able to tap him for more more information as well. But yeah, and 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 yeah, it's it's. So yes, as much research as possible, but also I trust the production company because um, the production rather, because um, these these are very. I mean, obviously, I think you mentioned said used the word um, uh, escalation uh, earlier, which I think is perfect. Sort of the, there's a, a certain amount of artistic license taken, but they're born out of real scenarios, and then it's sort of elevated and 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 uh, manipulated to to suit our, our needs as a as a TV show. 